Salut à tous, cette fois on se retrouve au studio pour euh, les Challenger Stage. On est avec Alistair de Greon. How are you doing, Alistair? Very good. It's always uh, nice to start off the tournament with a win for once, so it feels good. Uh, last time we talked together, it was in Stockholm for the PGL Major. Yep. Uh, then you joined, uh, you were this time with Renegades. Then you joined uh, Order with your roster, and now you're with uh, Greyhound. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit more about this, about this period? Um, yeah, I mean, it was a bit of a weird period, obviously, jumping organization to organization. But um, for us, we just sort of play the game and don't worry about too much, as long as, you know, we have a safe home, I guess. Like, going from one org to another, like, it's fine. Um, Yeah, I mean, there's not much to it, really. So it was not stressful to be without any structure at the time? No, no it, it was honestly fine. Um, our manager, Will, like pretty much sorts out a lot of stuff for us and kind of makes the game more just I don't know, up to us, you know what I mean? We don't have to worry yeah. about organization stuff, so it's really good. Okay, uh, so no, uh, last time in Rio, uh, you messed up with a lot of pick mm -hmm. You're doing uh, it again, but are you not uh, annoyed to be considered as a tier two team by the community? Annoyed? No, not at all. I think um, we've been trying to push for a while to kind of break out of being, I guess, even lower than tier two. So to be even considered a tier two team and um, be there, like we're happy. Obviously, we're going for tier one next. And since the calm, you're always there. You're always uh, in the major. Uh, how do you explain those great results? Uh, we've just been practicing. Uh, You know, we got the right pieces now, I guess, uh, having Vexai on board. Yeah. And I think over time, Ince has just got a lot more comfortable with his calling. So I think uh, he just we didn't have enough experience back then with the right pieces or anything like that. And now it finally feels like we're on a progressive track. Okay, that's nice. And uh, are you less always in the, on the move than uh, you were in Stockholm? Like always uh, going to Europe, going back to Australia, going in America, everything? No, it feels like even since then we've sort of just been uh, traveling a lot. Obviously, uh, we get the pathway from Australia, so as long as we're on top of the Australian teams, we're traveling a lot. Yeah. Um, so we haven't really stopped traveling that much. Uh, it's been quite full on. And what is your goal for this major? Uh, definitely to make it past challenges. Uh, sure. I hope so. And uh, is it your first time in France? It is. Yes. How do you do? You like it? Will you stay as in Stockholm for two weeks after the major? Uh, so no, Stockholm they sort of just hooked us up and let us stay for, after the event, okay. which was cool. But um, we want to get to experience a bit of France for sure, see the nightlife, see the Eiffel Tower, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully we get plenty of time to do it. Nice. If you need a guide, not this date. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Bah, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Cool. Uh, nous, on se retrouve pour d'autres vidéos durant ce major et sur les réseaux sociaux. Salut.